Welcome back to the Build a Workshop series. Tool storage. It is finally time to start getting my tools off the floor and stored properly. I've been building this shop now for about a year and it has been a headache having to step over the piles of tools that I have. Let me show you around here just so you can see just how cluttered this place is. So as you can see, it is a disaster. So I'm gonna be using the French cleat system on this wall here to store my tools. And I'm gonna have several rows of cleats. And hopefully what I'm gonna do is get the wall installed today and maybe uh, one or two tool storage shelves. And then I like to um, just, as I continue building the shop, just randomly throw in a I built this tool storage shelf video. So um, I was watching a Wrangler Star series where he was fixing his wood shop and he just made all of his tools storage shelves without showing them. So I kind of wanted to see all of those small steps and I thought that it'd be fun to also show you as I make my own. And I'm sure I'll get better at making it as it goes along and also probably redo some of them in the future. But let's get started installing the cleats on this wall. I don't really remember why, but I had already ripped down several of these and I have looks like four or five of them that I can install today. I don't have any more plywood, but to rip this down, you just set your table saw to a 45 degree and run them through. And when you're done, you'll have two different pieces uh, that will connect together. And so this cleat, which has the 45 here, will be on the wall like this and it's going to look just like a flat board but it'll have that notch in the back. I'm anticipating these shelves holding a decent bit of weight so I'm going to start this just above where my oversized plate covers are going to be and I can tell where my studs are because I have uh, screws from holding the, uh, the sheathing on. So I'm going to get one screw in here. Missed. Of course I missed. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Now with one screw in there, I can take my level and find the level point on here. Man, I'm good. It was already there. Alright, now I'm going to take my other screw here and get this one in. And now, every time I find a stud, I'm going to put two more screws in there. And that should be plenty enough to hold any kind of tool I put on this thing. I now have the first one totally installed. I'm going to move up four inches here and make a mark. And that's where I want the bottom of the next one to be. That will allow enough room for shelves to be set in here. Okay, I'm going to set this up here. Need to match up my end so, so that they are the same length here. Okay, then once again I'm going to set my level up here, find the level point, and then just keep putting in all the same screws again. I have the first three of the cleats installed on the wall. I decided to use this smaller cleat that I had cut previously uh, down below my outlets. And my workbench is going to be set at 35 inch, which I marked here. And so now I know where um, that's going to be. So anyway, this cleat is going to be well above that. And there's probably still some room for 
a few little totes or bins underneath that cleat. The reason I'm going with a 35 inch workbench is because that's the height of my table saw. And I think that's pretty standard size anyway. But let's go ahead and make our first tool holder. I probably have somewhere around 15 screwdrivers or so. And I definitely want to have these out and easy to reach. So I think a screwdriver holder would be a great starting point. I have this scrap piece of cleat that I had cut previously. It's just got maybe an inch here with the cleat. And I thought that would be a great starting point for this screwdriver holder. So I've gone ahead and marked a, another piece of three quarter inch scrap. Let's see what the uh, size of this is. This is around two inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark uh, go ahead and cut this to the same length as this other piece and we can go ahead and put some holes in this for all those screwdrivers. Now I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to mark every inch and a half on here starting at I think one inch should work. I've got a size 15 Forstner bit. Whatever the 15 is, I'm not exactly sure. I guess millimeters. And I need to put a hole at each place that I have marked along here. And so I'm just gonna use the drill press for consistency. Now that all the holes have been put into the wood here, it's time to get the uh, cleat installed. I'm probably gonna come back and do a little sanding on all these just to knock off any burrs. So, two things I wanna do. First, I wanna pre-drill a couple of holes in here for some uh, two-inch screws. Okay, let's just do three of them, I believe. I'm gonna be using some tight bond glue here. Go ahead and get this into position here. Then I'm gonna use the screws to hold this in place to let that glue dry up. I'm gonna make sure that's recessed just enough so that it won't be hitting the wall. Now, this would probably hold everything I need it to, but it's a little bit shaky. So I've made a couple of legs here, little triangular legs, and they go up under here. And that's just gonna make sure that it's nice and solid. So I've got two of those, one for each side. I'm just going to use some wood glue and a single screw to get these into place. I should be able to just to hold this here on the edge where I want it. And then do a single pilot hole down here. Okay. Dab a touch of tight bond on the end of this. I'm just using a two inch screw. I figure that should be good enough here. Very nice. Cool. I'm gonna get the other side and this shelf will be nice and secure. And there's the very first completed shelf. Let's see how well it holds these screwdrivers here. Seems pretty good. Now I've got a couple of screwdrivers that are a little bit on the small side. Hopefully they still fit. But it looks like this is gonna do quite well. Nice.
I like that a lot. I'm very excited to have this part of the shop started because my tools have been such a wreck and it's nice to be able to just reach over here and know where something is. So I'm going to be making a lot of shelves like this for various tools over the next who knows how long. And so I'm just going to scatter those videos amongst the rest of the workshop build videos so that hopefully you can get some ideas for how to make your own tool storage. And also, if you have some great ideas or pictures or videos of some good uh, French cleat storage system ideas, just uh, write those in the comments below. I'd love to see them. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.